स्टैटोस्फेयर इट इज द सेकेंड लेयर ऑफ एटमोसफेयर दिस लेयर इज जस्ट अब दी ट्रोपोस्फेयर एंड बिलो दी मीजोस्फेयर स्टैटो मीन्स लेयर और स्प्रेड आउट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ स्टैटोस्फेयर वट आर दी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ स्टैटोस्फेयर लेट सी स्टैटोस्फेयर एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द ट्रोपोस्फेयर टू अबाउट फिफ्टी किलोमीटर और थर्टी वन माइल्स अबव अर्थ सर्फेस वियर्स एज यू नो दिस इज द अर्थ सर्फेस एंड फ्रॉम द अर्थ सर्फेस टू ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर हाइट वी हैव ट्रोपोस्फेयर and from the troposphere to 50 km height we have stratosphere the area under the 12 km to 50 km is the stratosphere temperature of the stratosphere what is the temperature of the stratosphere temperature of the stratosphere is minus 55 degree celsius to minus 5 degree celsius means Temperature starts from minus fifty-five degree Celsius and it ends on minus five degree Celsius. So it means the boundary line that is the stratopause means the boundary line where the stratosphere ends and mesosphere starts. Temperature is minus five degree Celsius. That shows temperature increases with altitude. and what is the reason behind this why temperature increases as altitude increases the reason is the presence of ozone layer due to the presence of ozone layer temperature of the stratosphere increases this ozone layer absorbs the uv radiations coming from the sun due to this temperature increases you can see this is sun and this is the earth and between the sun and earth there is a layer and this layer is known as ozone layer and this ozone layer is responsible for the rise in temperature in the stratosphere due to the presence of ozone layer because ozone layer absorbs harmful radiations and energy from the sun the energy is converted into heat warming the air these uv radiations cannot reach to the ground due to this ozone layer amount of ozone a stratosphere contains maximum amount of ozone about 10 ppm 10 ppm is the amount of ozone in a stratosphere ppm is a unit for quantity used for smaller amounts you know as compared to other atmospheric gases amount of ozone is very very less so we use the term ppm instead of other units because ppm means parts per million means how much ozone is present in 1 million some important facts about the stratosphere a stratosphere is a very dry layer because it contains little water vapors and very few clouds are found in this layer only commercial jet aircraft fly in this region what would happen if there is no stratosphere just pause the video and think about it what would happen if there would be no stratosphere ozone layer in the stratosphere protects us from the harmful radiation these radiations may cause skin cancer and other health issues it can also damage dna of plants and animals so students life is not possible without this layer of protection so you can imagine how much this layer is important for us so we should thanks to all that has created such a suitable atmosphere for us